Good morning, judges. We are Liu Chang, Hope Chow, and Tibia Dure from Raffles Girls School. Today, we would like to show you our investigation on the anti girl activity of spices on oral streptococcus. Oral streptococcus has been linked to the formation of dental caries, also known as tooth decay. The bacteria found in these caries can spread to the bloodstream, leading to severe systemic infections. Chronic dental disease, such as that which would be caused by oral streptococcus, has also been linked to higher incidences of skin cancer. Clearly, infection with streptococcus can lead to serious health problems. We worked with four common species of streptococcus bacteria. Streptococcus mutants, streptococcus mitis, streptococcus salivarius, and streptococcus species. We are identified here on an agar plate. We tested these four species of bacteria against cinnamon, star anise, orange peel, and cloves because firstly, these are common spices. Secondly, the antimicrobial effects of spices have been supported by previous studies. Our main question was, therefore, which spice or combination of spices will have the greatest inhibitory effect on oral streptococcus? We hypothesized that the combination of orange peel powder and cinnamon would be most effective, since studies that indicated that they had the greatest antimicrobial effects. To test our hypothesis, we designed an experiment first. We ground whole cinnamon, cloves, star anise, and orange peel into a fine powder. 0.1 gram of each spice combination was then blended with 15 grams per liter agar. We autoclaved the spice agar before use to ensure sterility. To obtain all streptococcus samples, we swapped the seeds of six human participants. We then did a 16 strict inoculation with a suspension of the bacteria obtained before obtaining subcultures to purify the samples. The purified cultures were, in, were then introduced onto agar slopes and the resulting colonies were introduced into sterile MRS broth to create live cultures. To confirm the identities of the bacteria, not only through the appearances, gram staining was done and the results matched with the data available. The bacteria was oxidase, catalase, and gram-negative, as per that of oral streptococcus bacteria. Finally, to test the antimicrobial effects of the spices, we injected the live cultures into sterile sucrose agar and poured them into sterile plates. We created four wells on each plate, before injecting the spice and agar mixture into them. The plates were then incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 48 hours. We created 64 agar plates in total. About 70% showed no growth, while about 66% of the plates had colonies too numerous to count. We measured the areas of the zones of inhibition by calculating the elliptical area around the wells, which had no or very smaller colonies grown. About 37.5% of plates showed discernible zones of inhibition. A possible explanation for the results is that the concentration of spice extracts used might have been too low to produce plates with a mixture of cinnamon and cloth powder show the largest zone of inhibition, while so streptococcus mutant plates with star anise, cinnamon and orange peel show the smaller zone of inhibition. Also, the four best results for each species are shown in this table. To conclude, Cinnamon and cloves had the greatest effect against Streptococcus mitis and Streptococcus salivarius, while orange peel and star anise had the greatest effect on Streptococcus mutants and Streptococcus species. Notably, cloves were found in 10 of the top 16 combinations of spices. This falsifies our hypothesis that the combination of orange peel powder and cinnamon will be the most effective in inhibiting oral Streptococcus. However, it is worth noting that this project has proven that spices do have an inhibitory effect against oral streptococcus, upon which further experiments can be conducted to better understand the different effects of spices on oral streptococcus. Thank you.